The message title for today is The Call to Forgive. We will be looking at today's message in two parts where first of all we understand what makes forgiveness so important, so vital for us as believers, for our Christian walk. And the next part we will look at is into the nature of true forgiveness. So the first thing that we understand is if we do not forgive, it affects our relationship with God. Unforgiveness is sin and um, our spirits separate us from the fellowship that we have with God. So we understand that it is so vital because it affects our communion, our fellowship with God. Unforgiveness affects our body and our soul. When we do not forgive, our health gets affected. Uh, it makes us weak and it makes us susceptible to, to physical ailments. Often a lot of physical disorders can be traced back to when the bitterness and to when the anger has started. The next point that we understand as to why forgiveness is so vital for us, for us as Christians, is that forgiveness is the key to answered prayers. So if we stand in unforgiveness, it renders our prayer ineffective. It renders our, our prayer uh, powerless. God will not hear our prayer when we are in a condition of sin. And this is why it is so vital for us to know what forgiveness does for our Christian walk. When we do not forgive, we open the door for the attack of the enemy. He manipulates us, he controls it, and makes it an opportunity to bring sin and stress into our lives. So you would agree that no one is worth or that important to open up the wicked schemes of the devil in our lives. So Paul encourages and he gives clarity that we should not be unaware and ignorant of what he's trying to do. So when we do not forgive, it opens the door to the attack of the enemy. The last point that I want to bring up here uh, that, that shows us it is so vital for us is that the measure we use to forgive is what God will use to forgive us. Forgiveness has always been God's idea and it, it has been His initiative. It is the heart of His gracious love. So when we look at forgiveness, uh, it, it is the outworking of God's plan to redeem and restore mankind. So even as we have seen through this, let's understand that the measure you and I use to forgive someone is the measure God will use for us. It is a principle that helps us in, in our understanding of the Christian walk. So even as we have um, f uh, understood of the way that forgiveness is vital to us, we move on to the next section of looking at what does it mean to truly forgive or what is the nature of true forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is taught to us by God through Christ. The Bible says that we are all sinful. It says we have all sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But because of the forgiveness that we have in Christ Jesus, we have total and complete forgiveness of our sins because of His love for us. So the mercy of God gives us not just the freedom from sin, but it also restores our relationship with Him. That's how wonderful, how beautiful the mercy of God is. So when we extend forgiveness to others, we help others see the great mercy and love of our God. There are serious consequences um, for our failing in extending mercy. James 2.13 says, For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Now this is a wake-up call for all of us who sometimes withhold our mercy. When we fail to show mercy, we face the consequences of our own unforgiveness. We also fail, face the consequences of the sins we ourselves have done. So in order for us to keep ourselves pure, we need to walk in forgiveness and we also need to be extending 
mercy because then we do find mercy in judgment.